that is one thing you have to be careful with. Like the rapier is usually really good with dragons, but if you screw up the movement pattern, it uh it goes pretty badly. This door also messes up me with skeletons. A lot of people playing Hotline Miami too. Yeah. I never will. I haven't even played the first one. Well, I want to play Hotline Miami too, but it's banned in Australia. Ah, that that is a reason. I think I'd heard about that. Good reason, from what I hear. Hmm. All right, Titanium Dagger, like the dagger, but better. I'd still rather have most other weapons, even at one damage. Your like, situation has improved slightly, but it could definitely be a lot better. The exactly. Weapon. That's that's pretty much what it comes down to. All right, the shop is almost certainly in that top left corner there. So I'll just go through getting gold and then, ow, right, it does, ah, uh, god. The usual pattern when you have two of those like that is uh, kind of negated by having a dagger that does two damage. Uh, Hi Wang says, Vickers, you need to stream Hotline Miami, dude. No, he doesn't. I think a lot of people forget how trial and error those games can be. <laughs> and how kind of tedious that can get for people watching in real time. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It might be a game that I check out and then maybe stream if I think it's uh, if I think it'll work well. They're incredibly fun games, but you die in one hit. Ah. And enemies have guns. Ah. And if you die, then floors kind of you have to do an entire floor of enemies at once and it respawns. Mm. Yeah, that's uh. Die, start the entire floor over. It's definitely fun to watch, definitely fun to play, but not fun to watch in real time when you're seeing every single run the way you just die to the first enemy. Right. So, like, I'm sure if you're super good at it, it gets pretty good, but without that, like, certainly not something you want to play blind. As Will O' Wisp says. Alright, uh, I traded out my titanium dagger because I'm that much of a scrub lord. You don't have the skill required. Pretty much. I mean, I'm just playing this game a lot will get you decent with the dagger, but as a general rule, you would much rather have most other weapons. Any other weapon, almost. More or less. And take care yeah, of that. Wisp I was just gonna say, I was just in chat. Ty Tuesday's stream. He's doing Hotline Miami 2 for launch, and he's funny as heck, and he saves a lot of that uh, game's tedium, mm -hmm. but it's still like. It's a lot harder of a game, and I just kind of took my headphones off sometimes and did some stretches. Yeah. Because it was kind of the same thing. Oh, look, thing. a skeleton room. Oh, it is the first non bat hidden room <laughs> that we've even this found. entire stream. Well, and if right it makes next to it, it's a bat difference. Room. <laughs> there is a bat room with a shopping spree. That's cool. Yeah, you'll also, in those rooms that only have, like, or that where the, it has a lot of enemies, but they don't fill up the whole screen, it's because there's also a chest in them. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, I don't really want to use my coupon on that. Apparently there is a combat shop, according to Willow Wisp. Ah. I don't know if they're talking about Hotline Miami 2. Yeah, I'm not even sure. <laughs> there exists a combat shop. Um, I mean, at this point, I might just jump down to the next level, see what we find in the next one. No, it's in this game. Uh, you get the item before fighting. I'm assuming there's some sort of shop where you get the item for free, but you have to kill monsters. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually pretty cool. Did I open up this thing here? Uh, map doesn't look like it. No. Oh wait, I did open up a shrine type thing. Ah, oh, the combat shop. This was the combat shop. This was the I chose drag, like, poorly. Shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You made a very, very poor purchase. <laughs> the poor purchase was going in. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, starting with a longsword. This could be. This has potential to be a good run. Especially when you're just finding piles of gold in caves. Longsword straight up, jump through a wall into boots of the worst. <laughs> find the the game will find a way to put it onto my feet. <laughs> find a way to put it onto your feet. <laughs> it's such a strange thing. It's like it's like Dorothy with the ruby slippers. They just kind of show up. I'm more imagining like. It's some malevolent force that is trying to get boots onto your feet. Alright, so this is a start. Um, I need some money. I need the cash. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get 250 worth of dosh in this level. Apple is a nice purchase, though. Yes, the apple will be picked up regardless. Alright, I get 20 coins out of that kind of hoping for 30, but sometimes things don't work out that way. I think you could get the apple and the chest. Yes, and the chest will have either weapons or armor. Yeah, it's looking like that's what we're going to have to get, because we're just about out of enemies here. Um, there is a small chance of secret rooms, but no, not this way. You can kind of like figure out where they are. The yeah. Anyway, what's that? Definitely I was going to say you could just get the apple and hope for a better still next level. But that's definitely one of the things you learn as you play this game more. Uh, you learn kind of how levels are generated and you can spot where mm -hmm. uh, like gaps are that are likely to contain rooms. Yeah, there's there's kind of a there's a very big like room shaped center hole in the middle. Odds are there's something in there, and as you play, you definitely get a sense, if a feel, for how this game makes the levels. So I don't know if, what the compression is like on the actual stream, but you also get better at noticing walls that have small blue dots in them that contain money in hardcore mode and diamonds for softcore mode. Yep. Diamonds basically let you buy new items in softcore mode. Ooh, a torch. And let you remove stuff from the rotation, as we saw at the very start of this video. Yeah, that's a new feature, and it's interesting. Um, I probably should have taken the Ring of Gold there, just because I am literally five short of it, but I love me a torch. Don't tell me not to take the torch. I reject your torch reality and replace it with a torch. It's like a hidden room with absolutely nothing in it. Yeah, happens sometimes. Sometimes you just get like shortcuts. Wait, what is that That's secondary funny. function? <laughs> I did not read that fully. Ah, this one has a chest. Maybe it does similar to the uh, gold weapon, torch. except in ring torch. form. Possibly. Let's see what we got. Shrine of Rhythm. Do not Shrine of Rhythm ever. Ever. Shrine of Rhythm and those fucking brutes would be actually the worst. <laughs> now that's a challenge mode. Even worse than the cursed brutes of leaping. Alright, this time I'll actually properly remember to heal, because I'm kind of a dumbass. Oh, is this... is the ring picking up gold for me? I feel like I haven't been close to some of the gold pickups I've gotten. It's entirely possible. Okay, yes, yeah, someone is saying that the ring picks up gold. That's cool. I, I did notice that the gold items were, like, sort of underpowered, since their function was basically get you money for better items. I've been noticing that a lot of stuff in this game uh, that has been it since release has started getting new functions. Oh, definitely, which is uh, really cool. I like that they that they're you know actively adding things to the game. Ugh, the I want the meat, but I can't get the meat. But I'll take the heart. The delicious meat. Delicious meat. I'm not going to make it back to the uh, <laughs> to the stairs. Uh, it's going to be close. Well, get no, fast. I completely missed it. Went fast enough. I don't think I was going to make it anyway. I can math. Um, so the Torch of Foresight allows me to see traps on the screen. And also on the map, which is why there's a bunch of like weird splotches. 
to help you find secret rooms. Yep. Secret rooms full of traps. Um, I might get the obsidian armor. Bows are really good. I might also just spring for the bow. Those boots also are pretty okay, if I remember correctly. Um, I believe so. They just float you over every single trap. Uh, they're the winged ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, they do that. Right, I keep, like, getting... I keep trying to collect gold, even though I know I don't need to. It's a habit that you should learn. Yeah, that's the oh, game is very much about such teaching a good you position habits. to just be hit by a barrel. <laughs> like that's that's the barrel functionality that should be there. Like you need to do a lot of damage to destroy barrels, but if you Donkey Kong an enemy, it opens the barrel automatically. Yeah, that would actually be pretty cool. Oh, hello there. That was a uh, yeah, bad best boots in the game. I forgot how many floor hazards there were in, in uh, Zone Three. <laughs> Zone Three is like just one big floor hazard. No, Wizard no. once again needs food pretty badly, but I'm gonna get the bow just to show it off. To play it safe. And yes, to kind of. So, bow attacks at a distance, uh, it's only straight ahead, and it can mess you up if you don't realize there's an enemy a bunch of squares ahead of you, but it's quite good. Especially if you get, like, a titanium or an obsidian bow, they're insane. Yeah, it's basically a better spear. And now I got a blood spear, which I will actually take, even though I just spent 250 gold. Because, uh. Kill 10 things. Yep. We are also in, like, hyper damage mode here. So I can basically kill anything instantly. But you already killed the level boss. You know. Little things. Alright, a new boss that I'm gonna mur get murdered by. Oh, it's Konga. Oh, did you just straight up murder him with half no. health damage? No, That's he doesn't take damage here. Like, if he's punishing you, he doesn't take damage. Ugh. He's very difficult, uh, if you don't have enough health to kind of shrug off little hits. To like compensate for having to remember that the 8th beat isn't there. Yes. The 8th beat not being there is ridiculous. What the fuck kind of dagger is that? It's a, it's a pretty good dagger. Let's just put That's... it like that. That sure is a shop. That's another rude RNG thing, like get the free coupon, get the best dagger. Hmm. I'm actually, like, I haven't killed the shopkeeper before. I'm sort of debating it, but I don't really have a good enough weapon. I'm also just taking damage like a scrub here, oh my god. Could bomb him. Yeah, I only have one bomb though, and one bomb does not in fact kill him. Oh. Two bombs kill him. Ugh, this is, this is a scrub or love. Alright, half health against a bat with two health. There we go. The bat could have just killed me there, for the record. Decided to spare you yes. this time. Thankfully, Golden Bat is merciful. Gold Bat is love. Gold Bat is life. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! Uh, uh, he could have been saved by that chest, but instead. Yeah. <laughs> More dagger time. You started with the dagger, the shop had the best dagger, and the chest also had a dagger, and you <laughs> killed a zombie. And I died to a zombie. That's that's life sometimes. It's a very variable game, um, in that if you... Really, the biggest enemy is always yourself. Yeah. 
it, it's definitely like a game where, I don't know, Isaac and Nuclear Throne, you start with a bad run, can you generally feel okay enough to compensate mm -hmm. and get better, but with this game, because it's so much around like the beat, I feel like if you have a really bad start, that kind of affects you keeping like in the mood as it were. Um, sort of, but I also kind of think that this game kind of has... It's m less prone to, like, a bad set of items killing you. Definitely. Like, it has a much higher skill ceiling where you literally can go through the game with the base item set. You know, if you're true. ridiculously that, that's good. That's technically true for a lot of them. I was just saying more, like, psychologically if you're not kind of feeling into that run. There is certainly that factor to it, yeah. I would also definitely say that this is a lot less item reliant than Absolutely. Isaac. Oops. I didn't realize there'd be a second monkey. Luckily the bat literally just let me kill it. There we go. I've really been bad mouthing Isaac a lot this stream. I like. I haven't played very much Finding of Isaac, if I'm being honest. Oh, hello! I, I've heard that a lot of people have really not liked the remake. Mm hmm. Um, because to 100% it, you'd need to complete a no hit run. Oh, God. And while there are items which give you a, uh, like, it's not a no-hit run, it's a character that is necessarily no-hit. Right. Like, you get hit and you die. And while there are items that give you, like, second lives, as it were, mm -hmm. like, it's there's so many items and it's so random. It basically that comes down to, can I get a good enough... Luck. Yeah, can I get in a good enough layout for it? Oh, hi Wang, yeah, you need to do a no-hit run three times on hard mode, it's 80 kinds of bullshit. <laughs> Wow, that's even worse than what I'd heard. That's amazing. Oh my god. Uh, and isn't that character, like, really hard to find out how to unlock, too? Like, <laughs> the developers just, felt just really... Just a little extra kick. Yeah, like, I remember around release that, uh... They were like, oh man, we feel really sad because people, like, data mined our game and found stuff that we'd hidden in the code. That's a new shop type. And apparently, uh... Sell an item to a monkey! Wow. Huh. <laughs> Strange. That's cool. How do you unlock Lost again? I, it was like, you had to do like weird stuff with certain characters while you had certain items equipped on them. You had to do things you weren't too proud of. <laughs> I don't think you can be proud of it much with Isaac. <laughs> Fair. Can you kick that barrel into that trap? Um, I can. Thank you for reminding me of that. Of course, it'll spawn the item on the. Oh wow! It destroys the trap and gives me a bomb. That's amazing. That's amazing. That was a series of things that I like. Barrel beats trap, but trap also beats barrel. They cancel each other. Boots out. of pain. I don't even know what these do. They have I spikes. think you took damage, but it gave you extra hearts. Maybe? Like, you seem to have six Pain! <laughs> oh, enemies might uh, take damage when they hit you. Maybe. Interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. Boots of Pain, aka a Melody in an item. Deals damage to enemies you move towards. Wow. All I see on the screen Die is Die as pain. Isaac to Kamikaze, kill yourself via bomb as Maggie in the deaths, die as Judas vs. Mom, die as Azazel to Satan. So you have to play badly in very specific in ways. In specific places. Uh, that's... wow. Yeah, that's actually pretty bad. I'm really glad I never got into Isaac now. <laughs> actually, I think Silver Minnow gave me one of them, so I really should check it out at some point. Yeah, I, I bought it way back when it was when it is constantly on sale for two dollars. The original right. version. Oh, it also has to be consecutive deaths. Fuck it up once and all over. What? Does that does that also count for the three hard mode no hit runs? Because I will actually ride if that is the case. 
Wow, that's, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty bad. Like, I'm all for challenges, but, oh god. That's not a challenge, that's horseshit. That's bullshit. Also, need, we once again are in the unenviable position of needing food badly. That's the... I believe it's a respect shrine. Thing. She, like, sends you back, maybe? I don't remember. Don't. Don't, don't touch the shrine that you don't I'm know not, what it does. I'm not going to touch the shrine when I don't know what it is. Oh, that reminds me of how terrible all the ship unlocks were for FTL as well. Hmm. I haven't actually played faster than light, fun fact. Oh, it's pretty good, but I would use a uh, hacked file to get all the ship unlocks just because they're so incredibly obtuse. And... Of course it's a blood shrine. Of course there's meat at the blood shrine! <laughs> if I can find an apple, we're in business. Oh, you need food so badly. Yeah, the game is taunting me now. You need food badly to get badly needed food. <laughs> Deep. I'm not even gonna fuck with that thing's pattern. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <Have the apple. laughs> Literally getting the apple specifically so that I could go over and get the meat. <laughs> trade, trade meat for apple, apple for meat. <laughs> it's uh, the the stock market is complicated these days. <laughs> the commodities market. Have you seen the documentary The Smartest Guys in the Room? This is a lot like that. Um, I'm actually going to. Yeah. Oh right, we have a holster too, so I can have the best of both worlds. Oh my god! So this run just went from about to die to incredible. Be very careful, this is six hearts in the Obsidian Log Sword of things going well. Alright, yeah, this is, this is like, I have a chance to make something, but if you fuck up once, it's over. <laughs> if I can get a little more food, we're in really good position. The boots are just simply going to appear on your feet. They you will. Noticing. Eventually, the game will realize. Um, and I'm also going to get scrubbed tier as hell and switch out my golden rapier for that titanium longsword. <sighs> this is too good. Oh god, it is too good! No! Get away! Oh, the minute's off! <laughs> Alright, we're, we're in power. <laughs> the minute's off! Very nearly caused tears. Very, very nearly. <laughs> of course, we we are now back in the need food badly. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Just as you said it, showed up on my screen. Ah, uh, this is. <laughs> you have a mantra. Have All right, a mantra. I have no way of getting the thing, unfortunately. But uh, good God, this run. The other thing that I really like about Necrodancer is that it will occasionally just lend itself to these insane runs, like, or just insane moments, honestly. I'm really glad you defeated the boss, because <laughs> otherwise... Okay, it's Kong King again. Oops. So the thing with this is if you miss a beat, he gets mad at you. You don't want him mad at you. He just teleports right next to you and hits you, right? No, he runs towards you and moves on the diagonal. Uh, once you kill his Congo lines, he will also do that, but you can actually damage him. Right. But it's very dark now. Yeah, that's because all the torches exploded. Alright, we, we made it to floor two, we have a bow, we have a fuck ton of hearts, let the fun begin. Uh, we Cracking have something that is going right to try to kill us very fast. Alright, it's the darkness monster. Not very threatening with a bow. That uh, nightmare horse thing is pretty easy, but I remember there being a harder version of it. There is in fact a harder version of it. Way. That was a skeleton wizard, because of course skeletons can be wizards. Why would you think they couldn't? You cannot actually tell a skeleton what to do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be rude as hell and get those sunglasses. 
you are entering dangerous territory. I like dangerous territory. I think you're falling victim to hubris. I love hubris. Honestly, two damage with a bow is something I wouldn't want to pass up. That is pretty good. Like, and two damage gold rapier. Yeah. I actually had a chance to show off the uh, super damage. But I didn't, because I'm dumb. Uh, remember that there is that cracked wall. Before the song comes out. Uh, where's the cracked wall? Back near the way you spawned into the level. That is a red bat, and it is now a dead bat. Need those red mushrooms. Oh my god, heal spell! What All right. in the hell Whoa! is wrong? And it's chicken! All right, we are uh, we're in business now. We might, maybe. I'm not making any promises. See the third floor tonight. <laughs> this is a hell of a loadout right now, though. Like, it was just so sorry for giving you those boots. Realized the pain it had caused. I'm not getting that cracked wall. I am getting that cracked wall. Purchase a random item for 120 coins. Uh, what the hell? Oh, no, get back here. Okay, winged boots. I actually, yeah, I'll take winged boots. It's no way getting the 4 3 because we've got the winged boots. Yeah. It has to happen. It would be really rude, but also really funny if the winged boots made it so that you couldn't fall through the song ending uh, trap door and just died. Oh god, that would be bad. Uh, incidentally, if Dove does not make it to the door by the end, Dove dies. Damn. Yeah, there we go. Get wrecked, Scrub Lord Dragon. Oh, you've got the heal spell already. Yeah, the heal spell is only one heart, but uh, every little bit counts. Half a heart. But it also instantly gets recharged if you take a heart of damage. Ah, uh, Mimic Wall! Yes, there are Mimic Walls that I handled poorly. Oh god, this is this is just the run. What is the uh, shot gonna have? Eh. So that thing there is the crossbow. Uh, it's like a bow, but you have to reload it. Like every three shots or so, and that will get you killed. A oh, lot. it costs hard damage if you use it on cooldown. Okay, I didn't know that's how spells worked. Yes. Uh, all spells have, like, modes like that, I guess is the word for it. Where you can use it for hearts. That was a recent, it relatively cost. recently added feature. Alright, let's see. Um, one important thing to note with the bow and arrow is that you will shoot those mushrooms. Have we dealt with the boss? We've been here a while. Um, I don't believe we have. Or we murdered him so quickly I didn't notice. Could be bad. Oh wait, yes, we have, because the stairs are here. Oh, it was a red dragon. Right, yes, it was a murdered dragon. Get murdered. <sighs> These shades. Uh, let's just keep going. That was a black skeleton with a shield. You have uh, to do, do a lot of damage. Do not forget that killing mushrooms refreshes spell cooldown. Yes, it does. I had forgotten, because I'm dumb. They are throwing a lot of enemies at me right now. Is sort of good. Yeah, the more enemies, the more kills I can get to fill back up. Oh, that is a bombable thing with a glass shop. This can turn your items to glass. Or actually, no, this just sells glass items. And I will take the armor because I don't have anything right now. Um, it's basically a free hit, then it breaks, but it's armor, so that's kind of the whole point. 
There's also a glass shovel in there, which, like... It can only go up from what you currently got. We've still got the basic shovel. Yeah, wow. Some. There we go. That mole enemy is a bit weird to get to spawn. Yeah, I've had a start and kind of remember it. Is you kind of have to, like, tactical dig uh, to get it, basically. Oh, that is a problem with these mushrooms in the dark. Sometimes they explode. Yes, although the ones that explode have, like, red splotches. Yeah, there's a oh, reason man. that the glass shovel and the glass armor are so cheap. Cause they are kind of like, they can easily be steps back. You could have uh, holstered the glass whip. I don't really want a glass whip. <laughs> I don't trust myself with glass or whips. Okay, so this is a mechanic that I haven't been able to show off because I've always been doing ridiculous damage, but the skeletons with the shields will actually uh, block you if you don't do enough damage. Glass is powerful, whips betray. Yeah. The beat on this level is also, like, very strange. Oh, that's a banshee. It stops you from hearing the music until you kill it. Also, I was just a huge dumbass right there. Didn't realize that was a thingy. Um, let's see what's in the shop. I'll take this. Chainmail, just before we get to the boss. Oh, I think... Yes, this is Coral Reef. It's not a shark. It is an octopus nearly as good. Oh, and the boots are still excellent because it's turning the stage to water. The boots are incredibly excellent right now. Can we shoot? Oh, he's spawning tentacles. Uh, and now he's going to attack you, I guess. That was interesting, and I'm sure that fight goes a lot differently if you don't have boots that boots. stop you. As opposed to the lost boots. Also, this is a pretty kick-ass song that you should definitely check out when you're able to. I do have. All right, track. now the fun times. Oh dear. Oh, I right love this that. music so much. Yeah. Stage three music's really good, but stage three music is incredible. All right, this dog thing. If I can get a helmet, I really want to show off like things because the enemy designs in here are great nope not helmets oh what the hell oh you can only hold a pack or a holster huh oh dear this is a problem <laughs> I guess I'll just keep the bow <laughs> well I suppose now we can get the chicken cheese we have a chance to taste it once more. One last chance to taste the chicken cheese. So the interesting thing about this level, uh, the slimes here jump in like weird diamond patterns and they will fuck you up if you are not paying enough attention. Oh yeah, that's right. And He's the rates here are ridiculous. Oh. Was that was that a clam? That was not a clam. That was a brazier, brazier, whatever. Um, they're they're hard to see because we have our goddamn deal with it shades on. But some of the uh, torches in this level are actually monsters. Like there's floor torches, Florches. That was probably a blue dragon. Unfortunately, we didn't get to show off its... Well, probably fortunately, we didn't get to show off its uh, special skill, let's say. Your bow is too powerful. You are a master of the arrow. We are also fighting goblins, which are some of the hardest enemies in the game. There's, there's a lot going on that I really actually wish I could show properly. <laughs> Figures we get the deal with it shades. Again, if I can get a helmet, I will even take the downgrade of damage. I can't believe, still can't believe I did that, though. 
Transforms I all still items. Can't believe that scroll. happens. Um, that's an interesting set of things. I will actually take this. All right, we now have an obsidian spear. Uh, hooray! Oh, there's a helmet. There's a helmet back in the store. Shit! 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 No! Just... No! <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> So what you can't see about those like horse silhouettes is that they are actually skeletons and they turn into shield skeletons. Skeleton horses being ridden by skeleton knights. Uh no, I don't want the gold sword. I uh, want the titanium currently? rapier. Didn't we used to have a bow? What was it? We didn't have a bow, we had an obsidian spear. No, we had a bow. We traded the bow for the obsidian spear. Okay. That was that's the, the series of things here. Oh wow, that's a shrine of darkness. And we are already wearing sunglasses, so um fuck it. Well we had has posted the correct emote skull. This was probably a bad decision. You chose poorly. Well, so this gives you the Ring of Shadows, which allows you to steal from shops. And you found a shop with those gold uh, walls there. Yeah, I already found that. I was already at the shop earlier. Um, oh. Multiplier based dig. Oh, right, there's an obsidian shovel here and a shield spell. I'll take it. So, all the items at the shop are now free for the low, low cost of all the torches in the level being gone. And your vision being just for reduced this level? even further. Uh, torches will be gone for I think the rest of the run, or at least oh, as yeah. long. Torches will be gone for as long as you start the level with the ring. Torches will be gone for far too long. Yeah, for longer than you would prefer. Okay, that's. I a can't problem. believe this is the first ring we got. Yeah, really. It's, I haven't gotten any rings. Hello there, cheese. Torches never come back, months. even if you trade the ring, torches still disappear. Right, which makes sense, because it's ridiculously powerful. Once you embrace the Palace of Darkness, there is no easy out. Ow. That was a black goblin, which are even more powerful than regular gobos. Eat my cheese, use my spell, alright. This is 3-2, right? This Just is 3-2, and now it's 3-3. Three, three. The biggest thing about... Um, oh, God. ...is that you will basically instantly die at the start if you're not careful. And also the rest of the time. <laughs> wow, that was just brutal right there. You might instantly die at any time. Yeah, That's pretty much. That's challenge. level 3 for you right there! Not being able to see the enemies is a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, that was, yeah, that was a series of bad decisions, and that will often be what leads to your death once you get a super powerful character build. But, uh, yeah, that was Crypt of the Necrodancer. It's a really fun game. Um, I think it's $20 on Steam, but it you, goes on sale a lot. And, and you can buy the soundtrack. And you can buy the soundtrack. Good. Um... This is just my personal opinion, but I think it's at the point where I would be willing to buy it even if I hadn't already purchased it on sale. Um, if it's on sale, I would absolutely say it's worth buying at the $20 full price. I think it's more or less at the point where I'd be willing to throw down money for it. It's a really cool idea. It has a lot of content, um, like you said, the creators... While it says it is still in early access, I would say that this is actually a full game at this point. Yes, I mean, it's if they stopped right now, it would feel like kind of frustrating in that it could have been so much more, but it is still like a very a fun, very playable, very skill-based game. Um, All eight reports that it is currently fifteen dollars. It is currently fifteen dollars. So there you go. It's it's quite good. I would pick it up for fifteen dollars. And yes, they have a fourth floor that they've promised, uh, which will probably be completely insane and scary. 
Because Fifteen dollars for Crypt of the Necrodancer is a far better bargain than the Powers of Darkness for free items. There you go. That's uh, that's the, that's pretty much the best way of putting anything I've ever heard. So uh, hey, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. We ended up going for much longer than I would expect we w we would. Um, thank you for being on shift. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Certainly. Wonderful. All right. Well. I will see all of you later.